In this video, we're going to be talking about two really easy ways for you to be able to automate your business on Airbnb. So stay tuned. Vacation Rental Machine helps hosts just like you learn how to start, grow, and scale your short-term rental business. This show is all about creating systems that help you automate your business, giving you more time and money freedom. If you're ready to start living the vacation rental life, then subscribe to this podcast today. Come and join us on our Facebook group, The Host Nation, where we'll be talking about starting, automating, and scaling a short-term rental business. Now, on to the show. Hey, welcome back, Host Nation, to another episode of Vacation Rental Machine. I'm Julian Sage with John Bell. And in this video, we're talking about two very easy ways to be able to automate your business. So two of the most time consuming parts of short term renting is going to come down to, you know, knowing your prices and how to be able to price your property based on, you know, things like the weekend versus the holidays, uh, all of these different events that might come up. And the second is also going to be messaging. You spend a lot of time messaging. And these are actually probably the first two pain points that we see a lot of hosts facing. Uh, being able to resolve these two issues is going to save you uh, a good probably 90 percent of your time uh, as you start to scale things start definitely start to change in dynamics but if you're just if you just have one property or you have maybe three properties you know putting in these two types of automations into your business is going to save you so much time so much headache uh, you definitely need to do them so John what is the first thing that they should be automating in their business you know the first thing really comes down to the thing that you probably are do the most of uh, when you're first starting out and that really is messaging there are multiple ways to do messaging. Of course, you can go into the platforms and they have a schedule based messenger that you can just probably just schedule just certain messages to go out. But that's only one step uh, that gets you halfway closer to a good solution. But there's another step, a really advanced step that can save you a bunch of time and just make things a lot easier, even throughout the guest stay. And that is incorporating tools like Smart BNB which tie in the AI that actually can read the questions or the concerns and even the temperament of the guest and let you know, hey, this either needs your attention or I know to send this response uh, to this question, basically, so you don't have to do anything. So like when your guest says, hey, what's the Wi-Fi code? Uh, you know that the Wi-Fi code is automatically just going to send to them without me actually having to find the message copy it and paste it or send it from a saved message already. It just helps make things a lot easier. And you can do that along with parking and some other stuff. We all get inquiries. Really smart BNB is one of those tools that actually reduced the amount of time that I actually was going in and uh, messaging guests. I mean, I still do all my messaging for all the units that I have at this point, uh, even co-hosted. It's all coming to me and it's it makes it super easy. You can't really move forward without it. So that's probably the number one tip that you actually could use to actually increase uh, your productivity within your business. Now let's talk about increasing your bottom line. That technically comes down to number two. Number two is actually using some automated pricing to go in and set your pricing to your unit without you having to really kind of think about it. You set two different things and the tool kind of goes and does the rest. Now, of course, when you're in a uh, highly populated area, this data is very, very good. It's very precise. It's really what you need and you can almost set it and forget it. But when you're in those rural areas, uh, you're going to have to kind of feed it a little bit more data than you might necessarily have to if you're in the city. But it does save you time and it takes the guesswork out of, should I be $120 a night? or about $150 a night. Sometimes I might think I'm going to be $150 a night and the tool says I'm going to go up to $230 because I know something you don't know. And when it can do that and perform and actually get those things booked, it's worth more than it actually costs you to implement into your business. So uh, that one actually makes you more money. Typically, when I see a lot of hosts that maybe they aren't professional, maybe they uh, really aren't up at their game. One thing is like when you message them and nobody responds and you're just waiting for them to physically, you know, take out their phone, respond to a message. Some people say like, oh, you know, I try to respond within, you know, uh, five or 10 minutes, less than an hour. But Airbnb wants you to be able to respond right away. A lot of these platforms, you know, if there's someone that is inquiring, they're sending you a message, you don't 
you don't want them to go and message somebody else and then say, hey, you know, do you have this parking available or can you answer this one specific question? How tall are your ceilings? Now, maybe you don't get how tall are your ceilings that often, but if those types of questions do come up, you can actually input into your messaging tool like, hey, if someone says, how tall are your ceilings? Maybe that's a common question that you get or maybe you've got gotten that question once before. Instead of having to wait to respond to that, you can actually put that as a response and the uh, messaging tool will be able to automatically provide that to them. So being able to respond, you know, uh, within seconds, at least giving them something like, hey, you know, maybe you there there still has to be a human element to verifying like, hey, you know, I read your comment. You know, there there might be something that maybe the uh, messaging tool didn't pick up, but to be able to just send them something and say like, hey, you know, I read your, me you know, your message is really important. This is, you know, your booking information, uh, you know, uh, maybe it'll put in some of their questions automatically pre-populated uh, based off of that AI, but still um, letting them know like, hey, you know, we're, we're going to re read your messages, you know, we're a real person here. Uh, a lot of people are afraid of getting into the smart messaging because they, they want to keep that human element and they feel like when they do smart messaging, it removes that. But really, uh, I would much rather have someone provide me something right away, let me know that they are there, that they're professional, and then get back to me if it's just even a few minutes later, letting me know, uh, answering a question that wasn't picked up right away. Uh, and then the second thing that I often always see is a uh, pricing. Some people, they just put like, you know, $90 spread out throughout the whole year. doesn't matter how far out in advance it is. It's always the same exact price, which I know is not the case because a lot of other places, hotels, a lot of other properties are probably changing their prices based off of things like seasonality, events, stuff like that. So you're losing out on a lot of money and using these pricing tools actually saves you uh, and makes you a lot more money. So, uh, you know, you can pay based off of percentage of your total booking revenue, or you can pay a fixed fee. Uh, just depends on which type of uh, pricing tool uh, you use. Uh, but of course, we'll include the links down below so that you can actually utilize the same tools that we use in our business. But you know, if you are trying to do this yourself or you're trying to, uh, you know, still incorporate some automation in your own business, these are the tools that you definitely need to start implementing. doesn't matter if you have one property or, you know, a hundred properties, having these tools is going to save you a lot of time, a lot of headache, and you're just one step closer to really uh, automating and putting your business more on autopilot. So question of the day, are you using an automated messaging tool and dynamic pricing tool? Leave it in the comment section down below. And until next time, Host Nation, keep on hosting. If you'd like John and I to answer your guys' questions, then be sure to go to the Host Nation Facebook group and use hashtag AskVRM. Hope you hosts found value in this episode. If you did, please go on over to iTunes and leave us a review as that would greatly support the show. If you'd like to connect with John, the community, and I, then go on over to our Facebook group, The Host Nation. Talk to you hosts in the next episode. Keep on hosting.